Hi there. I've been at Fairfax since 1976, a long, long time, and I've worked with great people uh, who've done great things, great journalists, great people in sales, all through the organisation who've shown great commitment uh, to what we do. Uh, I've also seen some pretty dysfunctional behaviour over the time. Uh, you know, that was, I suppose, went with the territory, a media company. Uh, we had monopoly profits. We could probably afford not to cooperate in the manner that uh, we need to now. Uh, I remember uh, being at the Sydney Morning Herald and everything that happened in the age was terrible. They were all hopeless down there. And then I went to the age and everything at the Sydney Morning Herald was hopeless. And, of course, it was completely wrong. You know, they were both great and still are great newspapers with great people committed to doing a great job. And as I said, it's something that we could probably afford to do because you know, we dominated the classified business in this, in this country. We had monopoly profits in jobs and homes and cars. That's not the case anymore. We're in the midst of massive change. We no longer operate in monopoly markets that enabled us to be more focused on internal issues than those of our audience. We have strong competitors who want to take our audiences from us and weaken us. In order to be successful, we need to keep what is good about Fairfax and remove the negative aspects of our culture. Our business, Fairfax, is built on our core values of independence and integrity. This will never change. It is our core. We need to build on this strength, but we have to stop any dysfunctional internal competition. And we can no longer afford to work in silos with little or no collaboration. This requires us to move from an inwardly focused culture to an organisation that looks externally. This means that we need to put our audiences first and our customers first. Now, you told us that this is how you want to operate. In the first InSync alignment and engagement survey last year, we asked you what you thought about the values of the business, what they should be and why were they important. As an executive team, we've reviewed this feedback and come up with some key themes. Then we ran 21 focus groups across Australia and New Zealand to refine the message and we incorporated your feedback into this model. At the core of our business are our values of integrity and independence. This is manifested in the way we work and the decisions we make which are based upon the needs of our audiences and customers. To achieve this, we need to be innovative, constantly challenging the status quo. We value transparency. We listen and respond quickly to our audiences, customers and each other. We are highly accountable and deliver on our commitments. We need to work together across the company to provide our audiences and customers with outstanding products and services. We will balance everything we do with a strong commercial focus to deliver growth to our shareholders, the people who invest in us. These are not just a set of words on a piece of paper. This is about defining the way we do things around here and then implementing it. Now, I intend to come and talk to you in forums about what this means for you and the practical steps we can take to ensure that we become focused on the needs of our audiences. And I welcome your feedback on what we need to do to get that right. We'll also create a cross-functional team to help drive initiatives to embed this approach in everything we do. I'll be encouraging all teams to consider what behaviours need to change to adopt this way of working. And I'll be expecting all leaders to help support their teams to make it meaningful and build a culture that serves our audiences. 
And that starts with every one of us operating differently. I know that this won't happen overnight, but we all need to commit to a better way of working together, drive performance and make Fairfax Media a truly great place to work. Thank you.